insane! <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, we got a little dry storage. I forgot to mention that. Sweet, put the GoPro batteries in there and we will lock that up. Keep your goodies nice and dry, perfect spot for a cell phone. And we are, uh, we're now off. I hope this thing works. <laughs> I am excited. Wow, 10 and a half foot is like nimble, dudes. We're used to like 12 and a half footers, so this is pretty legit. Let's see what is up, man. It's so weird having just an open spot in the bottom until you get launched. I guess I need to uh, get the paddle. Dope. Oh, wow. This thing feels so light. It shifts from left to right like nobody's business. And I definitely need to adjust this seat. I need to tighten, tighten this down. That way the back stays up a little taller for me. Let's tighten this one down as well. Boom. Okay, now the seat's feeling better. All right. Oh wow, this paddle is much shorter. Oh my goodness. I definitely prefer a longer paddle, but that's okay. You're not supposed to be paddling much on this thing. Sorry about the wind noise again. I haven't deployed PDL yet, man. We're just about to pass this grass. And then I got a feeling this is gonna be the most insane kayak adventure I have ever been on. It's about to go zero to 100 real fast, y'all. Let's get this thing deployed, man. I am quite curious how this thing works. I think you just pull it. I don't know. Oh, geez. Yep, that's how it goes. Drop this thing down. You need to center it a little bit. Deploy. Woo! What? All right, let's see. Am I going backwards? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, first timer, y'all. And you can go straight from forwards to reverse without having to, like, click anything. Check me out. What? This is ridiculous. This is cool, man. So, so if you want, I can just hold position in the wind, I think. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Peace! Words <laughs> on a dime. Oh my god, I'm over here cracking up. <laughs> Here he comes. This is insane! <laughs> Alright, let's fish. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get on this and use it here in a minute. I just took these scupper plugs out to let the water drain. I guess I'm just gonna toss them right here on the side. I don't really know where else to put them. I guess the dry storage, that would make sense, but nah. Oh, and by the way, if you impact something, like if you hit like a rock or a tree or something, a hard object, this system is actually designed to break this piece right here. It's actually designed to pop up and break this. That way there's not as much damage caused to the propeller and whatnot. So, uh, dang, this is like, this is like hitting a bicycle of CrossFit, dude. What the heck? All right, y'all, I'm coming during some lunker logs from Devon's ship. I'm gonna go weightless lunker log instead of this jig. I think the fish are finicky over here. All right, y'all, hammer hook. Let's get back to testing this boat out. I think you can leave your rods down here and they're supposed to like sit in this little pocket. So that's, you know, that's kind of cool. My tackle box is kind of in the way, but it looks like if you want to store some rods up front with you, you have the option. All right, let's cruise over here to the trees. Man, this thing hauls too. You can get some real speed. Okay, so aside from all the wind noise that y'all are going to hear from now on, one of the coolest features about this boat that I'm the most excited about is honestly that I will be able to hold position in the wind without dropping the anchor because as I drift back I'm just going to be able to scoot right up on forwards. So there will probably be a lot more seated fishing happening with this yak. I'll probably end up uh, using a secondary GoPro more often than I do currently because I'll get a good angle with the GoPro here on that yak attack mount we've got on the other Bonafide at home. You want your seat adjusted to where when you have your leg all the way at the very front of the pedal position you just have a slight bend in the knee. That's when you know you've got your uh, seat positioned as far forward or backward as you need. Angle myself back towards these trees. If you don't want to get too close, you can go ahead and paddle backwards. Oh my gosh, we are right back in the money zone. Let's get right on in the brush. What a kayak, man. First impressions, gotta tell you, this thing is quite legit. Starting to drift backwards, let's just paddle a couple. Boom, now we can chillax. Oh, life of luxury, man. I think I changed my mind though. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cast downwind. This will help me out because I'm weightless, so I'll get more distance. 
It will also help me uh, detect the bites because the wind's not gonna be pushing and making my line less tight. And I'll be able to backtrack. I'll be able to keep myself in position by pedaling backwards. This is a dream. You guys can probably hear much better right now. I'm not 100% sure because the wind is the wind, but I'm assuming you can hear better. And man, staying in position like this, instead of drifting all the way down the bank as you cast. This is cool. But yeah, if you guys are pretty pumped about this setup right here, as am I, go ahead and check it out with the link down in the description. I'm gonna try and catch a fish now. See if we can't close this thing out strong before sunset. How about that? I haven't even stood up in this thing yet. Oh yeah, feeling real good. I do prefer standing oftentimes. Nice to know this thing is stable. And it should be, 36 inches across if I'm not mistaken. I mean, 10 and a half feet. It's not like you're getting something that's, uh, just because it's a pedal yak doesn't mean you gotta be sitting down in this thing all the time. I mean, this is, this is where it's at right here. You can just plop right back down, scoot on up, stay in position. That was much easier than having the paddle. A lot of grass, a lot of wind. Maybe the buzz bait will do good right here. Oh, it's about to get choppy. Let's see if we can cut through this. Look at that, y'all. Oh, we're getting caked up. Oh, we're screwed. Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna have to break out the paddle. Get me out of this mess. Oh, maybe I should pull up the rudder. Rudder's up. All right, let's investigate. Oh yeah, looking real nice. Well, so guys, no worries. If you get a little caught up, grab your paddle. Get through the madness, drop her back down, lock her up, drop your rudder. Oh yeah, I think we're back in business. Yep, we just passed that grass that was almost up to the surface. Super simple, man, if you get caught in a tight spot. Let's whip that buzz bait back out. Oh, let's not hit the rods. Oh boy, how am I tangled? Oh, this is where it gets real fun. See, this is nice too, because if you got a problem, an issue, you can like still paddle and not like drift into trees and jeopardize your other rods that are overhead, like has happened with me before. If you run into a little issue, you can start paddling. You can start pedaling. Paddling and pedaling, it all sounds the same at this point. I think this thing's gonna help me avoid some messes in the future. I don't know if black buzz bait is the uh, color of choice here, but we're about to find out. I bet you we'll get a hit. I don't really have much tackle on me. I just wanted to show off the kayak that I forgot to bring a whole lot of stuff on board. Got a bunch of thick grass right here I'm gonna try and avoid. Will it turn in time? There's the edge of it. Will it turn in time? Oh yeah, we're good. All right, well, we're about to go through some of it. Let's see how good it... All right, I'm gonna stop paddling now. So it stops spinning. We're kind of in it. Okay, so this is like moderate grass. Well, right there. Seems to do well. Let's hit this grass edge now along this bank. This could be good with the buzz bait. Oh, it locked up. It said I've had enough grass. Paddle time. We gotta get back out of this stuff. <clears throat> All right, home free. Woo wee! Perfect. Beep. All right, y'all. We switched. First time ever using a pedal drive. Oh. Wow. Well, this is kind of nice, guys. It's a leg workout too. Oh man. I might have found a favorite hobby. Literally being on this maybe 30 seconds now is it takes so much less time getting to places where you normally would have to paddle. Like Weston still all the way on the other side. Back, backing it up. Wow, this is crazy. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, you want to go this way? Okay, just turn the hand. Turn the little knob. Oh wait, I wanna go this way? Yeah, let's go. Guys, I am eating this thing up. I am digging it hardcore. Oh, going through really thick grass. Like the grass is, is right here. I just grabbed all that grass. All right, all right, all right. It's still going. Hey. Oh my gosh, like so much room to walk around on the Bonafide, which is dope, but there's no reason you can't just grab the PDL 120 instead of the 106 if you're looking for more deck space. Throwing the big bait, man. No bites.
Got him. Under the boat. All right. Woo! Knocked him out. Sometimes you just gotta hit him with the extra sauce. We'll see ya. Hard to detect these bites, man. Check us out. 14 mile an hour wind sustained. I want to say though, it's gusting at like 18 to 20. Like when it really picks up, you cannot feel these bites. And I have something heavy right now. I don't know if it's a fish. It's not shaking. I think I'm just in the grass. I'm just in the grass. Yep. Okay. Wow, that was, I wasn't about to set the hook. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. He's not got a hold of it. Dang it. This is okay. See, here's that gust I'm talking about. These fish are right under the boat, y'all. Well, I'll tell you what, Devin and I are gonna have some fun casting out here for a second, but if it gets too dark, which I'm sure it's going to, we won't be able to film much at the bank. So we're gonna go ahead and catch you guys back at the house and we'll recap this thing in the garage. What a day and first outing on the Old Town 106, man. That PDL, boy. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, man. Fire away the questions in the comments section on what else you guys want to know about this kayak because I'm sure there's many things I didn't mention. A lot of features and accessories uh, I overlooked or accessories that we could get, I should say. And uh, just to let you guys know, we have another Old Town kayak coming next week man be thrilled because it's an entirely different model i'm not going to spoil a whole lot but it's next level and also uh, be looking out because we might just take one of these bad boys for a little mystery tackle box kayak slam uh, hopefully you guys are up for that and uh, with that being said i just appreciate you guys watching till the end as always go ahead and drop a like if you made it this far we really appreciate you guys and we also got a package of some other big swim baits big swim baits that we're going to be throwing around this summer uh, yeah, gotta wait to see, man. Throwing some of these new baits that you have never seen on the channel before. We just placed an order. They're pretty exclusive. And then also, lastly, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, if you guys wanna check out the brand new Sportsman, man, the kayak we were rocking in today's video, Devin and I could not recommend this thing enough. You will absolutely love it. The 106, man, that is the 10 and a half foot PDL pedal drive kayak. If that's not your jam, they have powered by Minn Kota. They have trolling motor powered kayaks for you guys to take a peek at on their website. If the pedal drive is your jam and you want a little bit more space, they have the 120, man. They got the big 12 footer. I think they even have like a 13 or 13 and a half footer. And then also, if you want to just save a little bit of coin and go ahead and get a stand up paddle kayak, Old Town also has you covered with the standard sportsman models, guys. So they literally have anything to suit your needs and they are fitting all budgets. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end to hear my little spiel. The link is at the very top of the description. Give them a peek and we'll catch y'all tomorrow. <gasps>